Congrats, you made it to part three. Now we get to do the fun part, using ChatGPT to create actual study products that help you retain what you want to learn. I'm talking quizzes, flashcards, labs, even slideshows. Let's build your study toolkit. Okay, here's the deal. You don't just want to read and reread your notes. You want to interact with the material. That's where ChatGPT really stands out. You can ask it to generate tools for you, and then you'll study smarter and remember more. And ChatGPT goes beyond just theory and memory aids. It can walk you through hands-on examples, explain concepts in plain English, and even simulate labs or code environments. So you can actually do the work. In fact, LLMs can even help you with interviews and help you understand code. Now, let's get hands-on keyboard. Okay. Let's try some prompts. Create 10 flashcards for Security Plus on Network Security Protocols, Format QA. Here we go. Here are 10 flashcards for Security Plus on Network Security Protocols. What does SSL and TLS stand for? Secure Sockets Layer and Transport Layer Security. Awesome. Next, build a five question multiple choice quiz on Linux permissions. Include answers and explanations. Here's our first question already. What does the command chmod755 file.txt do? It gives us four possible choices and then tells us the correct answer is B and an explanation of why that answer is correct. Awesome. Look at that. It gave us all one, two, three, four, five questions. Wonderful. Let's look at another one. Simulate a basic Linux CLI lab to manage users and group step-by-step -step instructions. Objective, to manage users and groups on a Linux system by performing various administrative tasks like creating users, assigning groups, modifying user details, and deleting users or groups. Look at that. And then it's giving me step one. Here's what commands I should use in a bash shell to do all these things, to list users, to list all groups. Next, it's going to walk me through creating a new user, then adding a user to a group, then creating a new group, then adding a user to the new group. Next, we could modify users, delete a user, delete a group, check permissions on user files. Wow, that's amazing. Let's try another prompt. Give me a five-slide outline for the OSI model. Include main points and speaker notes for each slide. Let's see how it does. Here are our main points. There are our speaker notes. All right, so it didn't create a slide deck for us, but it created the bullet points that we could use to create our own slide deck and the speaker notes, which would help us be able to present this information more succinctly to an audience. Let's see if it gave us all five slides. Slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, and slide five. Ha! It had to think a little bit harder here because there are seven layers in the OSI model, but I only asked for five slides. So it had to combine some layers on the last slide. Let's ask one more prompt. You are a hiring manager. We're telling ChatGPT they are a hiring manager. We're giving it a role. Ask me, so this is the task, ask me three entry-level SOC analyst interview questions based on security plus topics. So we've given it a task, Give me those interview questions. And we've given it some context based on security plus topics. Let's see how it does. Here are three entry level SOC analyst interview questions based on security plus topics. Question one What's the difference between a firewall stateful inspection and stateless inspection? Next, can you explain the importance of patch management in cybersecurity and how you would prioritize which systems to patch first in a large network? And three, what are the key differences between a denial of service attack and a distributed denial of service attack? And how might a SOC analyst detect and respond to them? Now, we didn't ask for the answers. We just asked for the questions. If we wanted the answers, we could amend this request. Okay, now give me the answers to those three questions. Let's try that. Great. Now provide me a paragraph each to answer each of these questions. There we go. It's giving us that same question and it's giving us an answer. So we could use this to quiz ourselves. Okay, we got this interview question. Here's what our answer might be. 
And then we could go back and read what ChatGPT thinks a good answer might be. And we could combine those two to help us prepare for interviews. Next, as you might guess, large language models are great at coding. And they can also be great at teaching people how to code because they can break down code snippets line by line and explain what each part does and why it matters. So if you're learning Bash, Python, or PowerShell, you're in luck. ChatGPT can help. Okay, first, I have a calculator.sh file that I've already written, but I don't really understand it. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to explain this bash script line by line. Also highlight any common mistakes a beginner might make. And then I have that colon. That colon then tells ChatGPT everything after this is my script. It's what I'm asking about. And you can see that I do have my script written there. Let's see how ChatGPT does. It's giving me a line by line breakdown, starting with the shebang, then the echo command, telling me that the echo command is going to print the message that's in quotes there. Great. And it's, look at that. It's giving me common mistakes as we go along. Just like I asked, ChatGPT is giving me a line by line breakdown of the script that I provided it. So if this was a script that I didn't really understand, I could go in and learn about it. This could really help me learn how to code better. I could even ask ChatGPT about another language. Let's ask ChatGPT to write a Python function that converts CIDR notation to a subnet mask, then to explain how it works. So quick, there is my Python function right there being written. After it writes that code, it's going to explain how it works. It's going to extract the prefix length, construct the binary mask, split it into octets and then convert binary to decimal and then format that subnet mask for me. Look at this. It's even giving me some example usage and again, explaining how it works and any common mistakes I might want to avoid. Okay, now let's create a string of products. First, let's ask ChatGPT to give me five flashcards about the OSI model layers for Network Plus. And there it goes. It's given me the flashcards, the question on the front side of the flashcard and the answer on the back. Some of the questions it's given us are, let's look at question number three here. What role does the network layer, layer three, play in the OSI model? The network layer is responsible for routing data between different networks. It handles logical addressing and determines the best path for data transmission. Now, after we've studied those flashcards, Let's ask ChatGPT to create a quiz from those flashcards with one correct answer and three distractors. There we go. Here are our flashcard questions in a quiz type format. What's the main function of the physical layer, layer one in the OSI model? We have the four answers and it tells us that the correct answer is A. That's two study tools built here in probably about 30 seconds. Now, let's try something a little bit more interactive. Let's ask ChatGPT to explain a short Python function. Line by line, of course. There we go. ChatGPT has taken that two-line function that I wrote and broken it down for me so that I can understand how it works and why it works. Here, ChatGPT responds with an explanation of each part of that function the function definition, the parameter, the return statement. And then it gives us a simple explanation and summary of that function with an example usage. And just like that, we're learning to code and prepping for Network Plus or Security Plus level scripting. Awesome. All right. You now have a full study system built around ChatGPT. You know how to ask better questions, verify the answers, and create personalized resources. Combine this with your cert materials and you're golden. Now, go and crush that exam that you're studying for and have fun studying smarter and getting better results.